Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on Way the Hunter, we're here at Transylvania doing a wild boar hunt, looking for that five star. He's still eluding me, but I have got a big group of wild boar right in front of me, which we're going to look at in a minute to see if one of the four stars has made five star. Last time I checked, he was four star. So I'm hoping today is the day, fingers crossed, that he makes five star. Now, also in this video, we're here to talk about what's just been hooked on social media. It's a brand new trailer for the elevator tripod stands, which we're gonna go over and talk about in a minute. I know you want to see about them. I have got early access to Matriki Park DLC, the New Zealand map, the new map coming on Tuesday, the 6th of February, and I've got lots of content lined up for you. I've been making videos, and we've got lots of long videos ready for you to watch as soon as it launches so don't worry about that lots of content covered and uh, if you want to see anything let me know in the comments and i'll try and make that happen but yeah really enjoying it i can't share anything yet tell you anything yet about the brand new map and it's only a few days till release now so get ready for it i can't wait to hear and see your reactions to what you think on matriki park losing let me know in the comments He's still four star, damn. <laughs> I was hoping he'd make five star today, but he's a four star. So, fingers crossed, next time I come, he may be a five star. We'll have to keep an eye on him. But uh, we're going to be busy on Matriki Park, <laughs> New Zealand, that's for sure. Um, we've got lots of trophy animals to go for, 17 species in total. We've got the chamois. We've got... The European here, we've got European rabbit, we've got fallow deer, we've got feral goat, we've got feral pig, we've got grey lag, goose, helmet of guinea fowl, Himalayan tar, pheasant, red deer, rocky mountain elk, samba deer, sicker deer, white-tailed deer, wild boar, and wild duck. And we're going to take out a wild boar right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out one of the mature twos, I think. We've got a four which I think will probably make it, so... There's like a really grey two. I didn't see those on the left hand side. So maybe there's some more about. Always check before you start shooting. Because you never know. You might have a five star there. And it just runs off. And it might die the next day. So you never know. So uh, keep an eye on your herds. Do your herd management. This is what we're doing today really. And like I say. I'm just getting rid of some of the uh, low ones. Which I don't think will make five star. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that four star. That's for sure. The red there in Matriki Park have a new trophy variation inspired by some of the world record breaking stags as well. So the high fitness ones are truly something to behold. Red deer in Transylvania will remain unchanged. So they're a lot bigger in Matriki Park, New Zealand than in Transylvania. What I could do is do some sort of comparison video maybe with them. Would you like to see that? Let me know. We could compare the racks and the size of the red deer from both locations, both uh, Matriki Park and Transylvania. Right, now this is the only thing when there's groups of animals. When the, uh, you have a you look in your binos, and this is why you could do it with it on your rifle sights, your spotting info, because sometimes they merge and you're like, is that the one? And I've done it myself. I thought it was a five star and shot it, and it's been like a one star or something, uh, because it's moved on. and. Like I say, it would be nice to have spotting info in the actual rifle scopes. Would you like that yourself? Let me know in the comments. What about suppressors? Would you like those? Now, I did this for a while and I asked people in that and it's gone absolute madness. The amount of people commenting on that video, right? It's in the hundreds now. A few hundred people have commented on it and they're on about suppressors. So I wonder, would you like that for Way the Hunter? Would you like suppressors in the game? Let me know in the comments. Some people are like, no, I don't want them. Some people are like, yes. So it's quite a hot topic. But uh, overall, a lot of people do want suppressors in hunting games. As always, that's why I ask your opinion. You might not want them. Do you know what I mean? You might not want them, uh, but the next person might. So uh, just asking. You never know. It's nice to get feedback on what people want. What about trail cams? Would you like that added to where the hunter? There's lots of things that could be added to Way the Hunter. Um, it's just a case of, like I say, gauging interest of what the community wants. And if it's super popular, you never know, it might be added. And it's always good to add in video comments for content creators 
videos, right? Because devs, people like the community managers, they check all those videos and they look at those comments and the feedback on social media. And if something's popping off and the community wants it, often it will get made. So don't think it's a waste of time when you put a comment in because those comments add up. And if it's a, a popular subject, it could get added. Do you know what I mean? It's a really important thing. So that's why I always say it. Because that next idea that's sprouted amongst the community could be the next thing that you're actually playing in game. Um, so it's very important to what could happen in the future. So he was a two star male. Yeah, not bad genetics, but he was never going to be like a five star or anything. So. We had to take him out, thin the herd, and hopefully that four star next time we come is a five star. But I do like wild boar hunting. Um, it's something about it, it's a lot of fun. But now on to the meat and gravy of what you actually want to see, what I want to talk about, and it's the elevated tripod stands. Our first look at them. I will have a detailed video on these, a long video on these when it comes out, but I can't show it yet. So here's Miriam, the community manager here to tell you all about it. So explore a new dimension in your hunting expeditions with new hunting equipment, the elevated tripod stand. Available soon in two options. You've got the Antolia Big Brother, that's free for everyone, and the Antolia Giraffe, exclusive to the Matriki Park DLC. Now there's two differences between those. Join us, our community manager, which we're just going over now, as Miriam delves into how the elevated tripod stands operate in Wader Hunter. Deploy it anywhere and secure shots, yes, even in shallow waters. Achieve the perfect ambush with 360 views and secure shots from elevated angles with 10 stands per map. Strategic placement, optimized precision hunts with strategic stand placement, stealthy approaches, decreased visibility for undetected moves, Reduced scent detection leaves minimal traces, reducing your impact on your surroundings. Relax, wait for the opportune moment and capture that perfect shot. Lightweight, adaptable and designed for stealthy ambush hunter. This stand unlocks the strongest vantage points. So it's easy to put up, take down. So you get 10 elevated tripod stands per map. You have a minimum distance of 50 meters between each stand there's two different types the antolia big brother is free for all and antolia giraffe is exclusive to matriki park dlc so we've been taking our first glimpse at the brand new elevated tripod stands for matriki park dlc which comes out february 6th along with update 1.25 so tuesday is going to be a big day only a few days away been playing whale hunter hope you enjoyed the video I'm Ron McTube, please subscribe to my channels and thanks for watching, bye bye.